What's going on everyone? It is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at the new remote app for the fourth generation Apple TV. It's wholly redesigned and finally builds in Siri so you can actually talk to your iPhone to control what's on your Apple TV. So let's get started. You do have to pair the app with each individual Apple TV, same as you have in the past. So once I launch it, I can see my bedroom and my living room Apple TVs. It'll prompt me for that passcode, which I'll see up on my television. And once I enter that, it'll be paired to that Apple TV. So nothing really much has changed so far. However, now once you're inside of the app, you'll see a whole new layout. So obviously we have that touch sensitive part on top, the menu button, the pause play, the Siri remote button, and the home button. So all the controls pretty much that were on your Siri remote are now on your remote app. What's cool is this new gaming interface where the controls are lined up a little bit better and it actually works using the accelerometer. So if you're doing a racing game, you can hold your phone sideways. It's a lot easier to control, to steer, and easily access that select and menu button with your thumb. So this is a really cool feature that you may not have seen in the past. Siri is also another really great enhancement here. You can actually now use the Siri controls from your Siri remote here in the Siri remote app. I can hold down the button so you still have to hold it and go, what's the weather like outside? And it'll give me my weather. And of course, new in the new TV OS is, can you turn the lights on? And now using HomeKit, Siri can do that on the Apple TV as well. So a few really great enhancements with that gaming mode as well as with Siri. However, not everything is great. We do lose the volume functionality. You'll notice their volume rockers are nowhere to be seen. And that's mainly because a lot of the ways you control volume are using that IR port on the front of the Siri remote. And of course you don't have an IR port on the front of your iPhone. So you simply lose it because there's no hardware to support it. So what does everyone think of the new remote app? I personally love the upgrade and it's much needed, especially that gaming mode, which will be used quite often. Let us know down in the comments. Please go ahead and subscribe so you can keep up with the latest videos. Otherwise, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.